Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tim Langford, and I welcome you to the Tuesday morning, 11 a.m. Gordon Marketing Training Webinar. I have plans for you. I've got plans to prosper you and not to harm you. I have plans to give you a future and a hope. Those are our marching, marching orders. As I've started many of these training seminars and, uh, and conference calls, that comes from our Lord Jesus Christ. So as, uh, as mighty and powerful as that is, my goodness, guys, uh, that should be our mantra to go about uh, helping other people get started either in this business, but especially go out and protecting families. Today, I'm focusing in on how to set an appointment. If um, For those of you who were on the federal uh, uh, training call yesterday, oh my goodness, you, you heard it from one of the absolute best in the nation, Raina Reyes, and she was setting uh, appointments, or at least going over her phone script of how to set appointments in uh, in the federal market, and uh, this is just a a uh, continuation of that because we are literally uh, doing just that same um, phone script that we are doing the exact same uh, basic approach, except we're using mortgage protection. The uh, let me get right into uh, um, talking about, and uh, I, I will have on two weeks from today, um, a, a, a female agent from Ohio, Jody, who has been doing a phenomenal job setting appointments. Um, she's not able to meet with us or, or to be on the, on the call with us today, but two weeks from today, if you are missing this, Tune right in. You're going to see the exact same PowerPoint. You're going to see the exact same slides, and then you're going to listen to Jody, whom uh, 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 part of our train together because she actually uh, uh, started about the same time as I did about seven years ago in mortgage protection, and uh, uh, you'll hear from her script and be able to say, wait a minute, boy, does that sound familiar, and there's a reason for that. Everything that you do, you don't want to, the worst thing that you can do, if you're interested in building a team, if you're interested in duplicating yourself, the absolute worst thing that you can do is to be creative with this business. Why this business works, why we have so many agents over now 40 states, we've got agents in over 40 states who are out protecting families with mortgage protection policies. The reason why it's successful is because it's a system and it's duplicatable. Absolute key word is that it's duplicatable. In thinking about uh, um, mortgage protection in general, I want you to just see right there on your screen, if you're able to join us through through your computer, through the phone, you're, you'll get the, catch the uh, general gist of what we're talking about, but... Uh, uh, Tuesday, remember, is our webinar with a PowerPoint. Friday is simply the the uh, conference call. And uh, um, I put a real quick plug in for that. Friday at 11 a.m., as we do every Friday, and I, I, I miss it when I'm not here, but the, the gentleman that I was training with last Friday will be on our call this Friday. And uh, one of our regional trainers, Jim Meixner, did the uh, the call, hosted the call for me last Friday, and had a lot of co positive comments back from uh, from that call. Thank you. Um, and uh, again, another powerful call this Friday will be featuring uh, Matt uh, Matt Dworsky, who is is one of our regional trainers in the Fed market, who also runs mortgage protection. What you see on your screen there is what I call the essence of a successful phone call. If you will key in on these seven basic steps, you've got it. This is what's going to make you successful in the in, in whether it's a setting an appointment for for you can you can put in real estate in there. 
but the absolute essence of a successful phone call is equi quickly get your name recognition out there. Introduce yourself in the same token of giving them the exact reason why you're calling. You are going to be going for four to five yeses before you ever ask for the appointment. You want to clarify what your role is for the company. And then you're looking to offer one specific time and date to set up your visit. If you do not do number seven, you've completely wasted your time. <laughs> and you, you, you've, not, uh, you've not been, uh, um, somebody's going to look at you and either blame you that you've not been trained well. I'm going to come back and say, if you're a part of our training, I'm just going to say, you are not a good listener. And we're going to try to modify that and, and love you into following a system if this is what you want. Now, if, if you're, you're, you're just plugging in to get little tidbits here and there, absolutely. Welcome. Love to have you here. The true successful ones who are on my calls on Friday who are doing the, the two, three, four, five thousand a week or like this next Friday, the gentleman who, goodness, for the first three months, 12 weeks, so go January, February, March, in the first three months, Matt has successfully followed this script. Matt has gone out and written policies, mainly now in the Fed business, but also in the mortgage protection. That's his background, too. And he's averaged $10,000 a week. <laughs> I, I still just... Uh, um, and, 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 it, and it is exciting, and yet... Even an, an old dog like me, I'm, I'm now well into my 20s, times two plus. And uh, I uh, um, followed Matt's system, setting appointments just like this. And you'll see me on the, the leaderboard. Uh, um, now, remember, it goes from Friday of last week until Thursday of this week. So I'm still running a couple more appointments this week, but you'll, you'll see my, my name this week for $12,000. So when I share with you, Matt has been averaging over $10,000 a week for the last, for the first quarter of 2016. Guys, plug in. Oh my goodness, what a blessing. Here's the entire script right there. And I'm going to, 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 to say it as if I am calling somebody. You're going to hear, I'm going to pick out a, a half a dozen or so leads. I don't know if we'll connect to anybody this morning or not, but uh, hopefully we, we will. In two weeks, we're going to set aside more like 30 minutes of phone dialing. So I'll probably have about 10 minutes of phone dialing today, so you will not hear probably more than just one or two phone calls. But that's the entire script right here. Everybody who has registered for this webinar, you will be getting this same PowerPoint. Follow this script with very minimal uh, adaptations. Uh, uh, be very... Uh, don't bring out your, goodness, what is the term besides artsy-fartsy? Um, creativity. It <laughs> sounds so much nicer. Um, don't be creative with this. The more that you can be a man McDonald's franchise, we've talked about that, that you are looking to duplicate what has been successful. I, I am confident every person on this phone call, um, you could come over to my house, we could put my nine-year-old in the kitchen, and she could make a better milkshake than, than McDonald's. She could, I know for a fact, at nine years old, she could make a better cheeseburger than McDonald's. But McDonald's has duplicated something that is mediocre at best. You taste that cheeseburger, and it's been a long time for me, but goodness, you know what to expect. And sometimes you almost get a taste for it. I know I do. I, I've been able to say no to it for a long time. But it is duplicatable. I've said that enough. Hi, Tom. I'm going to say that Tom's the person that we're reaching out to. My name is Tim. And, 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 and um, I should put a question mark at the end of Tom. So it's, hi, Tom. So it's a question mark. You're not, you're not asking, hey, is this Tom? Don't do that. You don't, you, want to, you don't want to set yourself up to immediately be labeled, oh, this is, guy is just a telemarketer. 
make hopefully that makes sense to you uh, we, before I send this out I will put a question mark at the end of that uh, of, of, of Tom's name there so that you know if the if the name says Thomas Johns uh, Thomas Johnson I'm not going to be calling in and saying hi is this Mr. Johnson now if he's in his 70s or even uh, you know an 80 year old because remember we can go all the way up to the day before somebody turns 81 so if somebody is 80 years old and sending this in I'm not going to I'm going to show a little bit of, of, of uh, decorum and say hey is this Mr. John or I'm gonna say Mr. Johnson with my question mark hey this is Tim Langford I'm following up on the letter you sent in in reference to your mortgage and most of our leads go out with the name of the bank who, who the um, mortgager uh, who who is the clients mortgager so I'm saying I'm going to look at that and this particular lead it says Ruoff mortgage so hey Tom this is Tim Langford I'm following up on the letter you sent in in reference to your mortgage with Ruoff I'm going to pause but I'm not looking for any feedback from from my client now sometimes they're right on it and they'll say oh yeah but I'm going to go ahead and just go right into it's the protection where your house is paid off in the event of your death or if you get sick or injured we make your mortgage payments do you remember that letter two different two different worlds that we're working in in the the mortgage protection program we are working with what we call fresh leads and aged leads you've heard just a few weeks ago the tremendous success that Vern Barkdale who brought in his team and they have they have been doing nothing other than calling on aged leads that's tremendous and it's a tremendous return on investment it takes a lot more effort a lot more work to to set a mortgage appointment on a, a age lead but when you're spending only three or five dollars a piece it's a different world than when you're spending forty fifty or sixty dollars a piece and I still hold to the fact that uh, um, of my couple of federal policies that I wrote last week and the uh, the three uh, uh, mortgage protection policies that I wrote on Saturday you do one average mortgage protection policy you learn how to find the money like you will on our phone call this week you guys it's it's um, as you can tell I'm just a tad bit excited I want to get Matt on the on the phone call today but I absolutely love the way that Matt was able to find the money so that you could turn this this mortgage protection appointment into hey this is a way to make your money work harder for you than just creating another bill Friday plug again I just need to confirm a couple things on this letter these are your yes so now you've already got yes you know because you've got that affirmation hey my name is Tom or, or, the, or the person you're calling his name is Tom and uh, um, you are calling just to, refer, to, to get a, a feedback on or excuse me just to uh, uh, confirm that he is the one who sent in this letter and I'll say half of the time after I've talked about uh, hey this is in reference to your mortgage with with Ruoff Mortgage Company I kind of get another yes or yeah I remember that and then I'll get another yes typically on the hey it's the protection where you your house is paid off in the event of your death Da, 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 da. I'll get another yes there now look at the next what uh, um, five, five um, questions those are really questions I just need to confirm a couple things on this letter your your full name is and that's where I'm going to come back and find out what he wants to be called your full name is Thomas Jones um, I, I, I called you Tom is that all right is that is that what your friends I don't want to find out what do you go by what do your friends call you and then I want to typically I'm not trying to be his friend but I want to the name that he's used to being called that's real important you're gonna find that out with number one you gave us in and I'm gonna say it the couple numbers typically they fill out just like on Derek that will be calling this will be the first one that that will be calling um, is uh, hey you gave this number on this one you know what I'm not going to call this one because it says to call after 6 p.m. that's the other neat thing about the leads if you're on our lead system 
You don't have to be. Actually, I, I, I kind of like it when you are not on our lead program, and yet you're still able to have 10 to 15 appointments a week. That tells me that you are, you, you are making this business easy because you're working hard. It's hard when you try to work it easy. <laughs> I love that. This business becomes easy when you work it hard. That's almost worth writing down. This business is hard if you're taking it easy. You gave us this number to call, getting that affirmation. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, and your date of birth, I've got it as, uh, let's see, uh, um, Derek didn't put his date of birth. He just put his buyer's age as 25 and co-buyer's age as 25. You didn't, and then I'll, I'll really lock it down with uh you didn't put it, you didn't give us a date of birth, but you told us your age was 25 and looks like you. So anyhow, I need some yeses. Your mortgage amount. Oh, guess what, guys? That's also on our lead. And your address. I have as. Check it out. All those yeses. Now I want to go directly into what my role for the company is. So, excuse me. I've got him here with his address is. Soon as I, I, I've heard that, I'm going to, okay, I'm setting the appointment. Right here is the only verbiage you need to set the appointment. You're not looking into the, or you're not going to do the traditional, hey, I'm going to be in your community over the next two, two or three days. Um, uh, is Tuesday or Wednesday better for you or, or money, morning, afternoon, or evening? Again, that just screams telemarketer to me. What where we want to focus in on is right here, guys, as simple as this is. My role for the company, and I usually throw in, it is a pretty simple one. I personally go over these options for you and I want to I want to verify if they have a significant if they're putting down just their name, I still want to find out do they have a, a partner, do they have a wife, do they have a significant other? Even a fiancé, I need, you need that person there. Do not do a one-legged. Thank you for all the affirmation emails that I get and the text that I get. Tim, you were right. One-legged appointments suck. <laughs> and, and they do. They are a waste of time. Oh, and also, by the way, Tim, you said to make sure to never meet in a restaurant, comma, you were right exclamation mark, exclamation mark, meet in their home. Why well, feel uncomfortable meeting in your home? Let's meet at the library. Let's meet at the restaurant. There's a McDonald's down around the corner. Again, you're wasting your time. You can't really get into personal information. You can't get into, okay, so what's your, so you, you, there's no way that you're ever going to take an application in a McDonald's. I divert. Uh, do, 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 do. And, and when we get together, I'm going to give you a, a customized quote. So I'm also taking, taking care of them right there. Hey, I just want a quote. Great. And even if they respond back to, hey, we only need 10 to 15 minutes together, I have a 2 o'clock tomorrow. I'm not going for, even that's got to be modified a little bit. I have a 2 o'clock on, on, on Wednesday. I'm okay with that as long as it's not Sunday that you're calling to set the, set the uh, appointment or, or Saturday or, God forbid, Monday through Friday of the pr previous week, and you're trying to set an appointment beyond 48 hours. You're, you're, you're again, looking to simply waste your time. I've got a 2 o'clock tomorrow available. How does that work for you and Joan? That's it. I, I just spent seven minutes on the what, what's going to take you 15 seconds to set your appointment. How does that work for you and Joan? Now you've eliminated, well, I'm busy. I, I don't have time. You know, I'm not that interested. If, if they answer that question, it's over. If they don't come back with something else other than or they come back with anything else other than, yeah, that time's not going to work, or yes, we can meet, then you've got to go back and address, which we're not going to do here, address that objection. We may go into that here in a second, but uh, I don't want to, uh, to belabor this too much. Um, set that appointment, or if that time doesn't work, here it is. Is it better earlier in the day or later for us to get together? They come back and say, yeah, that time's not going to work. Your only statement is, 
is it better earlier in the day or later in the day for us to get together? Now you're getting feedback from them versus coming into the a options Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, terrible. I would want you to be able to focus in on setting the appointment on your terms versus trying to, to bounce around, again, sounding like a telemarketer. You are picking up the phone for only one purpose. Yeah, I know you already know that, right? You are only picking up this phone for one purpose to get in front of them. And I love McDonald's. Trust me, I love McDonald's. However, you will not, nine times out of ten, protect that family at McDonald's. You will not. You want to be able to get where they're comfortable at, where they're going to have their checkbook, where they're going to feel at ease to give you all of their personal information, your social security numbers, their beneficiaries, how much money they make. Yeah, they're not going to be with, with, with average Joe sitting on one side and, and super Sally sitting on the other side. They're not going to be coming out and sharing all these personal information with you. We want to key in on where, uh, where they are the most comfortable and where they are the most comfortable at is in their home. You see the 48-hour rule, um, verify the two of them, lock down that appointment. And what I mean by that, going back to number seven, you're locking down the appointment with, okay, so uh, as I'm driving on XYZ Street, you see there is number four, uh, is your address on the mailbox or on the house? Number five, what color is your house? Go into, uh, is it okay to park in the driveway? Should I park on the street? If you still feel a little unsure about the appointment, immediately go to the do you have any sort of, uh, of landmarks? Is there, a, is there a Lamborghini? Try to have a little bit of fun with this, but keeping a business hat on. Do you have like a yellow Lamborghini on the driveway that, that, that'll scream at me, hey, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here? So lock down that appointment. I also still like what's a major intersection closest to your house. I don't care if it's two blocks away from your home. Go through these things to let them know that you're going to be there. You uh, and, and then I like number five, even though on the screen it's kind of kind of beaten up on the uh, uh, on my screen here. After you've got the time, you now double book and in, 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 and you you say this. I don't want to book, double book my time. Um, I want to make sure I, I, I didn't make this mistake. We, we said Saturday, right? So you go back and after you have locked down the appointment, so you've already set it, you said Saturday, and now you've gone two or three or four items to lock it down. Now you go into, oh, let me make sure I didn't goof this up. Uh, we said Saturday, right? What, what time was it? There you go. You know the time. You just want him or her to repeat it. And then number six, book minimally every two-hour time slots, 8, 10, 12, 2, 6, and 8. Don't miss out on a full day in the field. You want to make the numbers work in your favor. If you're running out on onesies and twosies, this business is going to kill you. You now have made this business hard. However, if you're out running a minimum of three appointments, oh, my goodness, guys, this is going to become what I call you're working it hard so this business becomes easy. There are some of the objections. I don't remember sending any info. Uh, I, I don't remember sending the information in to you. I, you know what? If you take your time and go through confirming all this information, they are either lying to you or, you know, disappointing to say, but they have Alzheimer's. <laughs> they've, they've got some mental deficiencies there because at least the, the fresh, so we're talking, uh, I'm calling today on just the fresh, I guess I've got a couple of the older leads in there too. Um, uh, that's a different conversation when they say they don't remember it because it was, uh, you know, maybe a two-year-old lead. Vern's team two weeks ago set 15 appointments on leads that were two years old. And I don't blame them for saying, I don't remember sending the information in. And how that Vern and I trained his team to respond back to that was, 
It's okay if you don't remember. I'll bring the card by that you filled out. But, you know, the most important thing it is, is, is that since this came across my desk, it tells me that you had interest, but you never took it. This is our last uh, reach out to you. I want to make sure to let you know that you still may qualify for this plan. Go to set the appointment. I already have insurance. And, and you are always on the upbeat of every time they say anything. If these objections already have insurance, that is terrific. Make sure that you have those policies out or policy out in front of you. And I will go over any questions you may have for those. But my job is just to get the information that you asked about mortgage protection. Get them off of their current coverage and focus in on that will make this job, my job, a whole lot easier. We're, I, I will spend no more than 10 or 15 minutes showing you how that our coverage may be able to save you money and get you more protection for less money. That would not make you mad at me, would it, Mr. Client? This will be a 10 to 15 minute meeting. How's two o'clock for tomorrow? I'm too busy. That's really good news. I appreciate hearing that, Mr. Jones. My schedule is booked up. So that means I won't have to, to plan on an hour or two hours with you, will I? I am just as, now you're, you're in your mind, what you're, what you're sharing with them, mind melt to mind melt. I am even busier than you, Mr. Jones. You're not going to be a sucker of my time and mess up my schedule. I can come in real quick. Thank you for being a busy person. This will make this meeting really short. Since you sent this card in, I'm obligated to get this information to you. 2 o'clock from 2 to 2.15, how does that work for your schedule tomorrow? I don't have any money. It's amazing how many people find the money when you show them something that is important to them. I dare say that you will too. You will find the money when it is important to you. If we can find the money for a couple hundred dollars, anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars on our cell phone, you can find the money for, for anywhere from 50 to 75 to 200 dollars a month on your cable bills. You find the money for, for soft drinks, for fast food, for, oh my goodness. You sit down and you show them, but you've got to get over that. I don't have any money. That makes this a perfect time for us to get together. When you do have the money, so take that away. When you do have the money, I'll already have my information in your hands. So this will be about 15 minutes, and it may be something that you'll just do in the future. But since you filled in the card, since you responded to our letter, I'm obligated to get this information in your hands. Does this cost anything? The wonderful thing about this, so I'm just going through the handling objections here for those who are on the phone. Um, does this cost anything? It uh, you set the price, Mr. Jones. I have, uh, I have policies, oh, excuse me, I have uh, families that I've protected for $3 a month, you know, up to several times that. But it is your choosing. We have a budget set for everyone. I want to think about it. Every time I've heard any of these responses, that's the purpose of my call. 100% of the time, that's the purpose of my call. For whatever excuse that they can come up with, and I get, I get all, all of them across the board, the whole emphasis is, I, I, don't, I want to think about it. Perfect. That's the purpose of my call. I, I will be in uh, tomorrow around 2 o'clock. It'll take about 15 minutes so that you can have more time to think about and really have the right information to do the right thinking. Does that sound fair? Okay, we, we, we've probably done that enough. So going into the next slide, talking about the don'ts. You're not there to sell insurance. You're there to focus in on what they sent. They sent in a request for mortgage protection, especially if they make the statement, isn't this just life insurance? How you answer that question will determine your success in this program. <laughs> isn't this just life insurance? 
if you come back with, oh yeah, yeah, this is just life insurance, what, what, why do they want to meet with you? They can go and, and get just life insurance on the internet. They don't need your help. My response to that, isn't this just life insurance? We also offer just life insurance. Is that what you're looking for? Nine times out of 10, they will respond back, no, I wanted mortgage protection. <laughs> So guess what I'm going to go and talk about? I ain't going to go talk about life insurance. I'm going to go and discuss how I can help them protect their home. Yes, it is underneath the umbrella of life insurance. And I actually go over that with, with the families I sit with. You know, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, you die, we pay off the house. So we are still underneath the umbrella of life insurance, but it's so much more than that. This is mortgage protection because we're able to, especially if you are leading with one of our core carriers, Phoenix, now you go into the living benefits. Traditional life insurance just gives you a check, Mrs. Jones, but what happens to all those times and over 50% of us will have some sort of debilitating disease and or diagnosis. What about all those times that you need help with your mortgage or you need help with your bills? Mortgage protection will be there for you. And yes, Phoenix can still be a standalone product. You do not have to tie it to a mortgage. So when you're going out and protecting that family, you want to um, do it without having to, to, to bring in Big Bertha with her needles and her buckets to pee in. Think of Phoenix also, because they don't have to have a mortgage. While you're sitting with folks wanting to protect their mortgage, wow, this is one of the most ideal products. And I also still love, and you'll hear next Tuesday, why we're not going to do our, our uh, appointment setting next Tuesday, one of our core carriers are, is being added to the mortgage protection program called Foresters. I am so excited. Foresters, now you will be able to write Foresters with your mortgage protection. You won't be able to. This is the only bad thing. Um, we have to, to recontract you. If you currently have your Foresters with us, um, we're going to have to recontract you if you want to do the Fed program. That's a different program. We have to do that in a, 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 with a different contract. However, if you, uh, if you have your Foresters with us, you want to start writing Foresters, let me know, and uh, you can still be on our lead program selling Foresters. It's a different contract, though. So hopefully that's not confusing you. Um, if you have any more questions on that, go ahead and ask me. But uh, um, are you with the bank? Absolutely never say that you're with the bank, unless you're also with the bank, but that's not what, why you're responding to this mortgage protection. I am with the Mortgage Protection Center. We work with our clients who fill out a letter with XYZ Bank. Do not run from that. Don't say, oh, no, I'm not. Um, the way that you handle it will set your clients at ease. I am with the Mortgage Protection Center. We work with our clients, so letting them kind of feel like you are with the bank, because you really are. The bank wants you there so that when he dies, they don't default on the mortgage. So we're with the bank only in theory. We work with our clients who fill out one of these letters for their mortgage with Ruoff Mortgage. Forget, don't, don't, don't forget to lock down your appointments. Um, I, I've got a, a several questions um, that you guys have come through on the uh, uh, on the uh, question box. I will handle those offline, but uh, because right now I just want to go into uh, um, see see if we can catch any of these people at uh, at home um, on uh, to do to do to do to do uh, the, some of the leads that I've got. So I'll, I'll go through and we'll we'll spend about uh, uh, about the next uh, ten minutes or so. See if I can reach anyone. Um, if I cannot. Uh, remember, we will come back and uh, uh, do this again in two weeks. We'll spend at least 40, at least 30 minutes, if not 45 minutes on uh, the uh, um, just listening to, to Jody set the, uh, uh, set the mortgage protection. So all I'm doing now on speakerphone, so live phone call. Usually after three rings, I just hang up, move on. Hi, this 
So that, uh, that is number one. We're calling Tina. Know your schedule so that when these people answer, you can go directly to when you're available. Hi, Tina. Hello. Hi, is this Tina? Yes. Hey, Tina, it's Tim Lankford. I'm, uh, I'm following up on the letter that you sent back in with your, your mortgage with uh, with Fairway. Okay. You remember the, the letter talked about you, you die, we, we pay off the house, or you get sick or injured, we, we make your mortgage payments for you? Yes. Okay, just to confirm a couple things with you here, it looks like uh, you had written the best time to call you was between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Um, you're the only person. You're the only person that obviously paid attention to that. Oh no! <laughs> have you have you got some other phone calls? I've had, I've had everybody else call me while I'm at work, and I'm like, this is not a good time to call me. Oh uh, well, hopefully, uh, is it? Well, let me ask that question then. Is this okay time to call you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I work evening, so you know I'm, I leave the house about two three, and I'm like, you know, once I get to work, I really don't like to be bothered with other stuff, but I'll have to be. So. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. What? What? Do, where do you work at? Um, I work at uh, Carmel Health and Living. It's a um, long-term care facility. I work in the rehab part of it. You're not too far from uh, from my house. I'm over at 136th and Spring Mill. Oh, okay. How neat. Hey, um, why I'm calling is to, uh, my, my role for the company is, uh, is just to, to set up about a 15-minute visit where I could go over the options to show you what you qualify for. Okay. What, so is this a good time between 10 and, 10 and 2 for us to, to get together tomorrow? I've already got an appointment tomorrow, but um, I'm off on Friday. Can we do it maybe um, Friday? I'm trying to think. I got something at 11:30, um, like maybe two. I have a a, a two o'clock. Would it be? Uh, are you are are you available? I'll probably be uh, at least a good hour for going over some things with the uh, with another another family I've helped. Kind of going back, and they're, they're, we're doing some will stuff. Um, what does it look how, like? I'm sorry. How long? What does it look like around three thirty on Friday for you? Yeah, we get three thirty. Probably be fine. Okay. Well, terrific. Let me let me put down here. Make sure I've got the right address for you. Is it three one three zero Hope Springs Court? I'm sorry. What was it? Three one three zero Hope Springs Court. Yep, that's it. My my GPS does a pretty good job, but uh, just to make sure, what's the major intersection closest to you? Um, 71st in Michigan. So if you take a right on 71st off of Michigan, um, you'll turn right on Highland Road um, after you've turned on 71st Street, and um, the, you'll see the subdivision. Once you turn on, well, you'll actually see it off of 71st, but when you turn on Highland, you'll see the subdivision because it's still being built, so... Okay. Okay. Terrific. And when, when I'm on Hope Springs Court, is there a, a, like a landmark or something? You have a big yellow Ferrari out in the out in the driveway? Yeah, that, I wish. I wish. <laughs> Everybody has mailboxes that have their house numbers on them. Terrific. Yeah, you can't. You sort of kind of can't miss my house because right now it's just my yard looks like a big mud pit. It's you know so. Of course, there's a few of them that look like that. So. I was going to say, welcome to uh, to springtime in Indiana. I know. I'm just like, oh, I can't wait to get my yard done. But <laughs> yeah. you know, I, yeah, even at this point, I know I'm not going to have grass this summer. It'll it'll get there. It'll get there. Hey, make sure I didn't goof this up. Uh, we said Friday. What what time? Three thirty. Okay. It may be even pushed a little bit closer to four o'clock if that's all right. Just to make sure I take time. Yep, that'd be fine. It's all right to call you, Tina. Yes. Okay, now you put co-buyer as N-A. Do you have like a significant other, a fiancé, or somebody that you're going to be no. there with you? No. Nope. If you did, I was just going to invite that person as well, because we can, we can extend this coverage for, for that person as well. Right. No, the, no my, daughter, my daughter will be here, so that, that's, that, that's my person. 
<laughs> I understand. <laughs> well, Tina, I will look Bye. forward to uh, seeing you Friday around 3.30. Okay, sounds wonderful. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Take care. All right, bye. Bye-bye. All right, let's try a couple more. Um, do do to do to do to do to do to do. Um, yeah, you're right, Fred. Thank you for 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 uh, for notifying that. Um, uh, that is not within 48 hours. So I will not, when I am doing my accountability, I will not be putting that down as an appointment because what I am going to do, since she also has her email address, and I like this, instead of calling her, I'm just going to, or, or you can even do a text, um, within 48 hours. So I have to do it tomorrow or Thursday to send out a, either a text message or, or an email. Since that was her day off, I'm good with it. I couldn't do it Thursday anyhow, so I could do it tomorrow. My next time for me is Friday. So thank you, Fred, for calling me to the carpet about that's not within 48 hours. So don't count that as an, as an appointment. And yes, even, uh, even with, well, I, I, I'm, I'm on spring break this week. Then set the appointment when they're off spring break. Set, go ahead. I, I didn't mean, mean to not say don't set the appointment next week. Just don't count that as an appointment. Call back and verify. Call back and verify. If it's beyond 48 hours, that still is, is a sucky way, I'll put it that way, to set that appointment. However, still come back and say, okay, so when you get back from spring break, that's going to be Monday. Monday's a crazy day for me because you know probably it's going to be crazy for them, so make sure not to try to do it that day. But the following day, Tuesday, I've got a couple openings. What's good for you? So now it's just now figuring out the day and the time. Within 48 hours, I suggest either text or an email. Try not to call. It's too easy for them to, to and, and texting and email is almost as easy as canceling. But you're not looking to confirm as much as, hey, I just wanted to let you know I still have that time available. So I look forward to meeting you Friday at 3.30. All right, let's try a couple more of these. <laughs> Thanks, Fred. I love that man. Call me to the uh, call me to the mat. I love it. All right, this is this is Michael W. Clements, and I'm gonna call Mike. All right, they give also a second phone number. Let me try that one. And we'll do this a couple more times and call it a, a webinar, but I, I, I appreciate the comments coming back saying that this is, this is helpful. Oh, great. Okay, that did not work, so let's try a couple more here. This one is Lindsay Johnson. Excuse me. No, Steve, I never verify health or meds. Hello. Hi, Lindsay? Yes. Hey, Lindsay, my name's Tim Lankford. I'm following up on the letter that you had sent back to us in, in reference to your mortgage with Bailey and Wood. Uh-huh. You remember that? The letter I'm talking about, make sure that uh, we're on the same page as the one that um, you, you die, we pay off the house. You remember that letter? Yes. Okay. Yes. Just to confirm a couple things with you, it looks like uh, uh, you had put down this number as the best number to, to call. And you know what? I goofed it up. You said the best time to call was after 5 p.m., so I apologize. <laughs> Whoops. You're fine. Don't worry about it. You're fine. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I try not to do that. Um, you put down your age is 25, and... Uh -huh. uh, you did not include a, a co-buyer, but we do have uh, um, options for, for like a significant other if you've got any fiancé or someone like that. No, I'm good. Okay. Um, it looks like you put down an address of 1353, or we have your address is 1353 Boone Court. Uh-huh. Mortgage about 135500 Does that sound right? Yes. Okay. Well, my role for the company is a pretty pretty simple one. What I do is uh, just 
put about a 15 minute time slot together for you and me to, to get together and I, I show you some of the options and go over the options with you. Uh, I've, I'm visiting with some folks tomorrow afternoon. I've, uh, let's see, I've got a two o'clock available. Th does that work for you? I actually, I'm a social worker, so I travel all over the state all the time. And I am actually in Greencastle right now and don't have my calendar. So could I get a callback number and call and schedule with you? Absolutely. Okay. Um, what is a good number for you? 317. Okay. 450. Okay. 3662. Okay, you said your name was Tim? Tim Lankford. Okay. Now I've got you, are you, are you in, you, know, you said for work you're over in Greencastle, are you in Indianapolis yeah. though? Yes, yes. Okay, so I can still, I, I, I travel the state too, but I, the next two days I'm, I'm in Indianapolis, so I wanted to make sure I didn't uh, promise you something I couldn't, couldn't deliver. Okay, um, and remind, what's the name of the company that you're with? I'm with the Mortgage Protection Center. We, we work, we're basically kind of hand-in-hand uh, -hand partners with Bailey and Wood. Okay. We we help all, all of our clients on the whenever you have a mortgage with Bailey and Wood, um, we will send you this letter, and we only call the folks who said, yeah, if I'm if something happens to me, I want to make sure that my mortgage is taken care of. Uh, especially for a 25 year old, I would think you'd be more concerned on the without putting thoughts in your in, in your plan. But I would uh, think that you're you're more concerned with you get sick or injured. You, you can't work, that's when we come back and make your mortgage payment. Right, okay. Okay, well let me, I am out all afternoon today. Let me give you a call back this evening when I get home to my calendar and I will let you know um, what I have tomorrow. Terrific. If you, uh, I will kind of just pencil you in. If you want to look, uh, my, my, my last appointment is usually at 8 o'clock. Um, okay. I don't know, is, is that usually a, a, a time that you at least get home by then? Yeah, I think I'm in the city tomorrow, so I will be around, and I think I should, if I remember correctly, I think I should be done around 4. So, if you have anything between like 4 and 5, I believe I will be available then. Um, I, I couldn't do it at 4, but uh, why don't you let me know, I'll, I'll put you down for 5, okay. and uh, um, I... Uh, but, but, but skip me on the 4 o'clock, I won't be able to do that, okay. but uh, uh, that would be terrific. Well, then let's shoot for five, and I will, get, I will call and confirm with you this evening. Sounds great, Lindsay. Good All luck right, in Greencastle. Uh, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, that's a, that's a real good one to, to end on. I want to make sure that you, you understand what I did there. I do not want to, um, when, when, hey, I'm going to call you back and, and confirm. That is a death nail. That's terrible, but you're always going to agree to it. Absolutely. You can call me back any time. Look what I did. I transitioned into worst case scenario, when are you home? So, you know, they get the big relax of, oh, good, I don't have to worry about setting the appointment. Now, you, now they're like workable clay. Now you can come back and say, um, yeah, here's my phone number. You call me whenever. So get that reassurance, reassurance out there on the table and, hey, a couple things happened in, in, in that in, in that communication there. I went for, I don't want to be out from, from my family usually any later than 10 o'clock at night. And so I typically try to set my last appointment for 8 o'clock in the evening. So that's where I'm going to go immediately when she says, yeah, I'm going to be going to be late. Okay, will you be home? So that would be number one. I'm just going to pencil in. I need to set my time aside in order to squeeze you into my schedule. Be a little bit like a doctor. When you call the doctor's office, I'm the doctor. And, you know, you, you may come back and say, I've got a, a Wednesday at, at, at 2 o'clock. I want to see you, doctor. Good luck with that, getting that way to your doctor. What's your doctor going to come back and say? What time he's available? I'm letting her know I have the cookie. She wants the cookie. <laughs> this sounds so elementary, but I'm not going to let her have that cookie with that exact time. I don't have a four or five o'clock set for tomorrow. Okay, that was the other dynamic I wanted you to see there. She said, yeah, I should be good around four or five. What would I have said? Well, how, well, how important do you think she would have felt that I was making my time if I would have said, yeah, I can do four or five. Matter of fact, I don't have anything for six, seven or eight because I don't right now. 
What did I do? I took it away again for her a little bit. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, I know I could. So you're working with her schedule. She's coming back and saying, yeah, I've got a four. I know I'll be done by four. Oh, guess what? I'm going to go. The first time that they, the first option they give me, I never agree to. Eh, a little bit of game, gamesmanship there. But remember, this is still a theatrical event. You are the main character, and now you've got to, to, to play your part. Your part is to make your clients feel as important as possible. And now, now oh, Lindsay, don't put me down for 4 o'clock. I ain't going to be available for 4 o'clock, but I think I can make 5 work. And, and, and she picked up on that very quickly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can make 5 work too. So anyhow, guys, I, I, I appreciate you for being on this call. You, you make a commitment to, to be on here and I want to pour into you absolutely every moment that I can. And uh, I, I, I hope this helps. Maybe just a couple questions. Do I ever, ever leave a message? I never, never leave a message. Um, you know, if you're getting to the point of desperation to the where uh, if you, uh, you know, you, you, you see your history of six, seven, eight, ten different dials and, uh, um, you know, you've stopped by home, uh, I, I want to come up with some sort of sticker. I've got a delivery notice that I like to leave with the, leave with my, leave with the folks that I've not been able to reach on the phone and say, hey, you've got a delivery this is my final attempt in a UPS sticker that is, is, you know, generic, will work. Please call within 24 hours to reschedule your delivery. My delivery is mortgage protection information. I put my name and my phone number. That's it. I, I, that is so much more powerful. And, and if they didn't respond to that, then, hey, a lead is still a lead until you've got it resolved. Do not stop calling that person. And, yeah, when you get to the point of, of two, three, four weeks, you're right. That will be by the first time because I have left messages before and 90% of the time a waste of time. But, you know, at that point, you're almost saying, hey, this is kind of the, the last straw. What if they are uninsurable, uh, your work up rates at appointment? Oh, absolutely, Steve. Um, nobody is uninsurable. That's first off. We have Gerber. We have uh, Great Western. We have Columbian Financial Group that will insure people. Sure, it is on a... a um, Graded death benefit, not even a, a, a graded death benefit, but a guaranteed death benefit after two years. CFG is after three years, but you still can offer them insurance. Even if they were diagnosed with AIDS a year ago and with cancer yesterday, it is still better than them putting their money into a savings. You will be able to show them good money back 10%, 10% um, interest on if they die um, within the uh, the first year, they get back all of their premiums or their beneficiary does plus 10%, a whole lot better than putting money in the bank. In year number two with Gerber, they get 50% of the face value. At year two years and one day, they get the full face value. So that's a good question, Steve. Thank you. Thank you for your points there as well, Fred. Um, and what if they are 100? Well, most likely they didn't send in the card if they're 100. <laughs> There's a few people who are alive out there. Um, if uh, uh, up until the day before somebody turns 91, how about that? Up until the day some, before somebody turns 91, you can still put $10,000 on that person's life. Um, we have the carriers to take care of that. Guys, I hope this has been, been beneficial to you. Thank you for your time. And you know what? That 116,000 that you see up on your screen right now, you may say, well, there's only, what, you know, eight and a half months left in this year. <laughs> you know where I'm going to go with that, right? The, the speaker that we're the agent that we're going to have on our call this Friday did 118,000 in the first three months. Even on a 50% contract, you can get to six figures in six months doing what Matt did. And he, he usually doesn't run, I don't know if he's ever ran more than 15 appointments in a week. You can do that in three days on a, on, on a not that busy of a schedule. Five appointments a day, and you're at six figures. 
guys, I appreciate you. I honestly can say with the love of my Lord, I love you and I only wish the best for you. Go have a powerful day and have, uh, have God's blessing on your life. Take care.